Well, I think the original sin of the globalist economic model rests in China and the suppression of the Chinese people, right? That's how they get their cheap labor. They ripped jobs away from the United States, transported them overseas. And that's why you saw all these people work so hard to cover up the origins of COVID-19 in the mainstream media, because they knew if everyone knew that COVID-19 came from the Wuhan Institute of Virology, from the Chinese Communist Party, that that would have led to taking down the CCP. So that's why you see on every issue every mainstream media outlet, even some more mainstream conservative media outlets too, always running cover for the Chinese Communist Party. And I don't think that people quite understand that there are multi-billion dollar political warfare efforts emanating out of Beijing, specifically trying to curate talking heads in American media, I'm certain not on Real America's Voice, but on other networks, um, to push the talking points that the Chinese Communist Party chooses. We've uncovered um, that groups like the China United States Exchange Foundation have been paying to take journalists from basically every news outlet, CNN, The New York Times, The Wall Street Journal, uh, NBC, MSNBC, I could list until the block ends, um, but to take them on trips to China overseas. And upon return, if you read the contracts, they're compelled to provide, quote, favorable coverage of the Chinese Communist Party. And this is just a drop in the very, very large ocean um, that, of, in terms of the tactics that China uses uh, to really advance their own talking points. I always joke that, you know, even though the Chinese Communist Party and their state-run outlets are distributed and disseminated in the halls of Congress, papers like China Daily, it's superfluous. They don't need to do that because the editorial stance of so many mainstream papers um, are already, like so many things in America, being made in China. How deep and how broad is the infiltration in the money of the Chinese Communist Party in American society and culture? I'll, I'll answer that with an anecdote. Um, there are, there's an elementary school classroom of second graders in Washington that's in a pen pal program with Xi Jinping. And I, I know that that might be shocking to a people. Pen pal a pen pro pal program with, you know, a mass dictator, a mass murderer. So when we try to understand why our intelligence agencies are acting like the Chinese Communist Party, treating us like dissidents, really weaponizing information, engaging in full-blown information warfare against the American people, it's because they have officially merged with the Chinese Communist Party. They use their tactics, whether it's intelligence warfare, economic warfare, not kinetic warfare yet, but you see political persecution. You see all the tactics the Chinese Communist Party uses against their own people, and that's why it's so critical to take down the CCP.